Alrighty, boys, in this video, we're gonna talk about the one key secret that separates the people who take on life in a fun-loving attitude, where they're always doing cool things with their friends and just having a good time, versus the people who seem like they're always fighting an uphill battle. They're always wrapped up in their own problems and kind of sad. But before we get into that, make sure to smash the like button so that we can reach more people and thus improve the lives of more people. And also, we have a brand new video being released every single day at 10, so if you want to be notified, click that bell notification below so that you don't miss anything. Now, let's get back into this video here. The one thing is your perspective. You see, the same thing could happen to two different people, but how they choose to, how they choose to perceive that event and their emotional state, it dictates on their perspective. For example, let's say uh, two people go and buy lunch and they both drop it. Well, person one, he might scream at the world and go, of course this is happening. Like, this always happens to me, my day is ruined. Like, this, this is just how my day is going. And he's letting that, that thing that most people would probably deem as small, He's letting it ruin his mood in his day. Ultimately, the quality of his life, right? I mean, who wants to be grumpy and angry like that? Do you enjoy that? No. Now, person two, he might laugh it off and go, oh my God, I'm so clumsy. Now, notice the same thing happened to both these people, but how they choose to perceive the event was completely different, and thus, their emotional state was completely different. And that's no surprise. I mean, have you ever noticed that when you think of memories that you're fond of, you start to feel happy? Like when you think of a time you kissed your crush, you aced a test or did well in a competition, you start to just, you'll, you'll notice your mouth just goes, start smiling or something like that. And the same thing happens when you think of a negative event or something that you perceive as negative, I should say. I mean, you could think of a time where you said something cringy to your crush or you got embarrassed in front of, of a lot of people. And you'll quickly find that your mood, it starts to decline. You're just not as happy. And that's again, because your thoughts have a direct correlation on your mood. And the thing is when you start to have a negative perspective on life, you have negative thoughts. And when you have negative thoughts, you have negative emotions. So it's, it's kind of like a vicious cycle. And then, because when you start getting these negative thoughts, it just keeps compounding and compounding and compounding. And sometimes people get to the point where they don't even recognize themselves anymore. I mean, they've had days and points in their life where they've been happy, where they've been a better version of themselves, but for some reason they can't get back there. It's almost like the world is working against them. I hope you can't relate to this, but you probably can, which is why you're watching this video. Now, the good news is that you just need to have a better perspective on life. Now. Again, what you're gonna have to do is essentially rewire your brain for this. And basically what you wanna do is when something that's negative happens to you, you have to reframe it and think of the positive. You see, every event in your life, every event that you think is negative, there's a positive to it as well. Now, you might be like, okay, Adam, what are you talking about? How is there gonna be a positive if someone dies? And I'm gonna speak from experience. My best friend, he died about a year ago. And most people, they would have been like, just, I mean, obviously I was devastated and sad and they're, it's obviously sad. I mean, I never get to talk to him again. But the how I chose to view it was, look, I hadn't talked to him a lot in the past prior six months leading up to this. When he passed away, I chose to view that event as wow, like a, a catalyst for me to realize I need to spend more time on my relationships uh, and my friends that I have, you know? I need to reach out to them more. And since his passing away, I've reached out to more friends. I've rekindled relationships. I put in more time and energy. And because of it, my social life has grown. And again, that's the positive that came out of a negative event. I don't care what happened in your life. You have the choice to look at the positive of it. And 
how is, I wanna ask you a question. How is looking at the negative in the events that are happening in your life helping you live a better life? It's not. I mean, is it helping you be happy? No. Is it helping you have a better social life? No, because no one loves to be around people that are grumpy, We've, you know? So if you want to start changing yourself in your life, you have to change your perspective. And that's why you see these really ambitious people like, or high, high performers like Mark Cuban or something. Why are they always in a fun loving attitude? Like him and Joe Rogan, you know, they're always in a fun loving attitude. They think they can tackle anything life throws at them. It's because of their perspective. It's how they fortified their mind. They look at the positive over the negative and it's what enabled them to accomplish so much. And it can enable you to do the same. Now, what I want you to do right now is I want you to look back at your life and think of a time where you thought something negative happened to you. And I want you to reframe it. Look for the positive in that event and whenever you start having negative thoughts, do the same thing. Start thinking of the positive. When you get negative thoughts, flip it on its head. And I promise you, if you do this for about 30 to 45 days, you're gonna be happier on a regular basis because you rewired your brain. Now, the thing is, you have to do this consistently and you have to be conscious of your thoughts because if you aren't conscious of your thoughts and you constantly have negative thoughts, well, you can't reframe it and thus, you're not gonna rewire your brain. So you have to be conscious of your thoughts, but when you get negative ones and you start having a negative perspective on life, you need to start having the positive until a habit is formed, until you rewire your brain. Now, look, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Like I said, it's my entire mission in life is to build ambitious men like you into conquerors. And when you like and subscribe, it really helps us in growing this channel. And thus, again, we create more impact. We can improve this world for the better. And then I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments, what was a past event that you previously thought negative that is now positive? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I hope you guys heard that, that was Pri. Hey Pri, say hi. Pri. Oh, yeah, she's super cute. Um, oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, Pri's on there daily. I post daily. Instagram stories are, are pretty uh, pretty, enter pretty entertaining. So you can follow me on there too. Uh, it's Adam Lucero one